Hi, I'm Richard, and today we're going to talk about how to get you into MSc Management at Imperial. Now, at the profs, we have a 93% success rate of securing offers. It is the highest offer rate we have of any Russell Group University, and that's five times the national average acceptance rate of 17%. Today, for the first time, we are going to go through tips and tricks of our expertise and years of experience to help you boost your chances of getting into this brilliant course. Now, jumping straight in, the number one tip for MSc Management at Imperial is a detailed career plan. Imperial cares so much about your career plan that there is an additional career planning section for their management-related causes. They will ask you what you intend to do after university and even go as far as asking what are the key recruiting criteria and how do you match up to these. This tells us they care deeply about their employment statistics and they're very proud of their 98% of students have employment within three months and they do not want you not being in that 98%. So in applying to Imperial, you're also applying for a job. My top tip here is pick a specific job title. There are going to be thousands of people applying wanting to be a consultant at McKinsey. It's not very original. Think about what is a specific job you can take. And using McKinsey as an example, it's fine to apply there, it's a brilliant firm, but talk about how you're going to be an associate consultant specializing in AI at Quantum Black, their subsidiary, pushing the boundaries in AI. See how much more professional I sound because I know what I am talking about. You need to have an advantage over the competitors and that means your plan needs to be better researched and more thorough. Now, if you don't have that right now, that's fine. Get on LinkedIn and find similar professionals who've been through Imperial, see which fantastic career opportunities they've had and talk about a path that is most exciting to you. You might, with a management degree, have lots of options to you, but I recommend just talking assertively about the one that you're going to do. It helps you keep under that word count. Now, number two is prepare for the Imperial Kira Prep pre-recorded interview as part of your written application. As an application specialist, we advise people throughout the whole process of how to look ahead. You will be asked this slightly strange pre-recorded interview, where instead of talking naturally to a person, it will ask you a question and then just cut off black and you're sat, sat there talking to yourself for 60 seconds and someone's going to watch and record that. We have over 50 tips on how to smash this interview as well as a question bank of over 200 of the previous questions asked. But in short, there are six questions on Kira Prep. One is introduce yourself to the camera, one is a written question, and then there'll be general competency questions and maybe one technical question, such as what has been the impact of maybe Brexit or work from home policies on the office culture. You can start preparing for this interview when you submit your application. They will only give you one week to submit it, so you want to be preparing way in advance for that. Thinking ahead is helpful. And that's really relevant for Imperial because it has these additional sections, career questions, interview prep, and also a personal statement. It is essential that you map out a timeline. So number three is come up with a timeline of how and when you're going to apply and prepare for each of these. Because they'll ask about your career planning questions and your personal statement, you will be at a disadvantage if you copy and paste your LSE and UCL statement into Imperial. You want to create your application portal in advance, see which questions they're asking on a career planning question, and write those first. There will likely be duplication with your personal statement. We don't want duplication because you're missing an opportunity to say new, more brilliant things about yourself in that personal statement. In addition to this, you want to be talking to your referee. You will be asked for a professional and an academic reference. I suggest taking one of each. Identify someone at your university, if you're still at university, and go on what I call the charm offensive. Sit at the front of their class, be on time, smash their homeworks, meet them in office hours. They are going to be writing a statement that's just as important as your personal statement. And if they can say that you're in the top 10, 5, 1% of your cohort, not just in terms of grades, but also contribution, that'll give you a massive advantage. So identify your referees and the same professional.
Now, another top tip for Imperial Masters in Management and indeed International Masters is to pick your specialism. This is a fantastic degree that you can personalize. You can pick from the finance specialism, innovation and strategy specialism, marketing specialism, and management and organization specialism. You can also choose not to specialize, but I highly recommend you choose your specialism. You choose your modules you will take within those specialisms. You can also take one from outside of your chosen specialism and talk about that in your statement. This shows that you have researched the course. And if you can align, for example, the finance specialism with your aspiration to work in finance, that will give you a much stronger and authentic application, and the same for those other specialisms. In fact, this is such a popular course for my students because of that finance specialism. If you potentially don't have a high first class or quite the same long track record of mathematics to get into a top finance course at Imperial LSE or Oxbridge, this is a very good option. You can apply for a management course at a top, top, top business school, but have a finance specialism, meaning that your CV will have finance in it, which will give you a big advantage when applying to banks. In fact, banks and finance is the second most popular industry after management consulting. So this is an excellent route for those of you who want to move into finance. Pick your specialisms, talk about them. That will help you to stand out as a well-researched candidate. Tie them to your career plan, your career planning questions, and now you're going to have a much higher chance of getting into Imperial. Another thing that makes this Imperial course very special is they have a case based approach. A number of years ago, they threw out the majority of textbooks and instead looked at studies of Uber, of Deliveroo, of SpaceX. You'll be studying how management is applied to real world companies, which means that they take the academic knowledge and apply it for you. This is a fantastic reason and the reason why this is one of the top two most enjoyed courses of my past students and I highly recommend it. Now, Imperial actually has two top-rated management courses, management and international management. Both require you to have fewer than two years of work experience, meaning that you need to be applying to this course pretty quickly after graduation. If you've got more than that, you'll be looking for the MBA, which typically has five years of work experience. The international management course requires a GMAT, although we've had a very high success rate of getting students waivers for that GMAT and or a 30% reduction in the GMAT score that they're required to have. In fact, many students will apply to the management course and then get pulled into the international management course without having to do GMAT. So don't let the GMAT requirement put you off if it's the only course that will require a GMAT. The main difference for the international management course is it's for students who've already studied management at undergraduate level. If more than one third of your course has management modules, and that includes economics, accounting, finance, marketing, organizational behavior, then they will recommend you to be put into international management. International management has a different set of courses. I recommend looking at them and their specialisms. It also has this fantastic leadership career planning, which will help you to stand out and progress faster in your career. Let's cover the five pillars of a master's postgraduate application. Number one, motivation. I say go big for a management course. Have a big mission statement. What is a problem that you are going to tackle in the world? I love working with management students and learning the fantastic journeys that they are embarking on in their career. I've helped students reignite rockets uh, in their home country. I've had students tackle mental health practices in the UK. I've had one student travel around the world to Central America to work out how education can be the silver bullet to help reduce gang crime. Management is a beautiful subject because it can be applied to any problem in the world and you can use this personal statement to get that excitement in your career. However, you need to be grounded. So tip number two is a solid career plan. It's no good saying you're going to go and change these worlds and be the next Elon Musk without actually saying how you're going to get there. What are you going to do immediately after graduation? What role are you going to be promoted in within two years? And within five years, what team or division are you going to be running that is solving this problem that you are working towards? We've said that Imperial has a career planning set of questions, so really important to include this there, which means you can put a bit less weight on it in the personal statement because it's already covered, but it's still important to include it in both. Now, number three, work experience. 
how does your current experiences line up with this course and what you want to achieve? And don't just say what you did, say what was achieved. Imperial wants to know what impact you have had on your career so far. What team did you lead? Or what did that team do? Did they raise millions of pounds? Did you solve some problem, organizational logistics? And if you can tie that to a management problem, even better, because number four is demonstrate that you know what management actually is. A lot of people will apply not understanding what management is and they will quickly be rejected in this admissions process. Management is about 14 different subjects, economics, finance, accounting, marketing, procurement, organizational behavior, organizational structure. There's so much that you can talk about and you want to be showing one or two of these is of special interest to you. You do that by talking about public lectures you've attended, books you've read, interesting topics. And I always advise people to consider talking about organizational behavior or procurement, things that are a little bit more niche than accounting and finance. But if you know about accounting and finance, mention those more common generic topics, but make sure you go much further and use the right jargon that discriminates that you are a top candidate who knows what you are talking about. And lastly, very importantly, university research. I've talked about specialisms, I've talked about Kira prep, I've talked about the case-based approach. You want to make it sound like you're already at the university. Which electives are you going to choose? Which lecturers are you going to meet? And what are you going to talk about in the office hours with them? Because their research, which you also mentioned, aligns to your mission statement and the problem you're going to solve in the world. There is so much you can do with management applications. Have fun with it. But it can also be a little bit overwhelming, which is why we support hundreds of students each year to take into account all these university-specific tips, interview preparation, and personal statement to get that 93% success rate. And we have a near perfect success rate of converting the Kira interview into an offer. If you'd like to work with me or one of my fantastic team of expert consultants, please contact us using the information on screen now or in the description below. On top of that, you can also see an exemplar personal statement by signing up with your email, and we'll send you some other tips, videos, trips, and blog posts, which can help you increase your chances of getting in. And lastly, if you like the video, help us out with a like and subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions. We'll try and get back to you as quickly as possible to give you the best chance. I hope you enjoyed this. Good luck in your application.